way is it? We say it's the countdown way. So the countdown way can be anything. So we want people to say, we have people, when they see us out, they'll be like, hey bro, what way is it? And we even say it's the countdown way. So my name is James, James Velez. I'm the owner here at Countdown SA. My name is uh, Raymond Garcia Jr., AKA RJ. I'm uh, one of the co-owners of Countdown SA. This store is a sneaker resale boutique, so it's a buy, sell, and trade, and consignment store. There's a market to everything. Like just like you have market for cars, you have market for shoes, clothing, hats, jewelry. There's market for everything. It's just as passionate as somebody sitting in Wall Street learning about stocks is how I am about sneakers because these things are stocks to us. You know, each one has its own market. It goes up and down in value. It's sort of like. Wall Street collabed with baseball card trading and Pokemon. Sophomore year of high school, I kind of got into shoes, like wearing the Jordans and all that, but I didn't get serious to flipping shoes until junior year. I was working on cleaning shoes. That's just extra money. So I bought a shoe that I really wanted. One shoe turned into a shop. My mom and dad were like, why are you spending all your money on shoes, this, that, and the other? They'd see me riding my bike to um, a Whataburgers where I would do my local transactions and all of the time, and I had a backpack with the sneakers I was selling. About four or five years ago, a group of us wanted to open up a shop together, and timing was off, people changed, you know, a lot of uh, conflicts happened in between them, but James and I have always remained in good contact, and this past year, we're just like, hey, I know we talked about it in the past before, but you and I, let's just do it all together. Within three months of became, becoming business partners, we opened up the shop. They say when you're a small business, you're only in the market for like three to five years. That's what I was scared of. I was scared of all the money we put up front, all the time and effort we did, like just to say, all right, in three years, we're gonna fail. That was in the back of my mind. Of course, the work-life balance, it's still something I, I still need to uh, work on with my family, but that's the struggles as an entrepreneur, you know, yeah, it requires some sort of sacrifice. There was a couple of days where we wouldn't sell a shoe at all. There wouldn't be anybody that would walk in here. It's literally like, is this what it's gonna be like? So then we started hustling, bustling. You have to, you have to market yourself, you have to do all that. There's a lot of things that he brings to the table that I could use some help on and then at the same time, vice versa. So he calls me like the back end type of guy. So I deal with all the paperwork, I deal with all of the, um, uh, the payouts, the registers. On the flip side, James is in charge of helping me find product to put in the store. He's in charge of helping me manage the social media. Just gotta trust each other, honestly. We, we have each other's back at the end of the day. We always said it's just us two in here. You know, we can have so many employees, we can have so many friends. At the end of the day, it's just us two. Countdown is literally 50-50, James and RJ. That's all we have. We still are committed in growing Countdown and making Countdown known in the city of San Antonio and definitely want to expand very, very soon. We both didn't think where we're at now where we would be, like selling to, you know, NBA players, NFL players, college players, celebrities, rappers. We didn't know we were going to sell to all those guys. It's definitely been a, a roller coaster, but at the same time, like I wouldn't take back any of the things we've done. So he he grew, he grew me into a better man. And we, we get into arguments a lot. Well, you know, we bump heads, but that's my brother. It's literally, we're in there for life, man. I wouldn't be in the position I'm in, sitting in this chair where I'm at, if it wasn't for James. I want to leave a legacy saying like Countdown was there for the people. It's me and my business partner. Started off with 90 pairs of just ours, turned into 2,000 pairs. 